Oh, good. Okay, hi there. Hey there, mom friends. It's Karen Haley, the digestive coach for moms, and this Facebook Live session is for you. If you're a mom and you're struggling to balance motherhood with gut issues, gut issues like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, celiac, and IBS, if you're a mom and those kinds of gut issues resonate with you, then this Facebook Live session is for you. Now, if you're not a mom and if your gut is in tip-top shape, then this is probably not the video for you. You can feel free to keep scrolling down your Facebook feed. Okay, back to you. Back to you moms with gut struggles. I've got a question for you. I'm wondering if you've ever heard this saying, and I'm betting that you have because most of us have heard it in our childhood. We've heard it from our moms. We've heard it from our doctors. We've heard this saying before, and here's how the saying goes. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. Have you heard that one before? I bet you've been hearing it since you were little, right? From your mom and doctor and all those people around you. Well, I'm here today to debunk that saying. I'm here today to tell you that actually you are not what you eat. In fact, when you have gut struggles, this is especially true. But here's the truth. You are what your body can absorb. I'm going to say that one more time. You are what your body can absorb, especially when we're dealing with gut issues. It's difficult for us to take those nutrients in and use the vitamins and the minerals for energy because we have a difficult time actually absorbing those nutrients into our system. But when we can absorb them, then our gut is happy and we feel so much better. And this might be happening to you. And if you're kind of squeamish about this, I want you to just close your ears just for a second because I'm going to say that P word, that P word, poop, okay? Just, just so you know, I'm going to say that word. If you're going to the bathroom and you look down in the toilet and you're seeing partially digested food, then you know you're not absorbing those nutrients because instead of being absorbed in your body for energy, it's coming out in the toilet in your poop, okay? So I'm talking to you, if that's happening to you, if you know you're not absorbing the nutrients in the food that you're eating, then this video is definitely for you. Here's the good news. The good news is that even when you have gut struggles, like the ones we've what the ones we're talking about, even when you have Crohn's and colitis and celiac and IBS, even when you have those gut struggles, you can still find ways to absorb the food that you're eating. And I want to give you my top five, my top five ways that you can absorb the food that you're eating. And I have to tell you, I have to be honest with you, there's so many of these. There's probably hundreds of ways to help you absorb your food better. But today, I wanna give you the top five ways that you could actually do today. Nothing, you don't need a lot of planning, you don't need a lot of time to try these tips. It's just knowing what they are and then you can try them today. So there's five of them. But before we get started with that, just in case this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, in case we've never met before, let's get to know each other a little bit better. I'd love to hear more about you, so tell me about you in the comments below, and let me tell you a little bit about me. Well, I told you at the top of this video that I'm a digestive coach for moms, and that means that I help moms that are struggling to balance motherhood with digestive issues. When moms like you are ready to move beyond medicine, to try and either combine some natural remedies or maybe even in the long run replace some of those medicines with natural ways like using food or lifestyle like stress management and time management and even using your mind, mindset, thinking about your motivation and using your mind to help you heal. I help moms that want to use those kinds of approaches to help heal from their gut struggles. 
and this is so near and dear to my heart and I'm so passionate about it because I know what it's like to have those kind of struggles. For 30 years now I've had Crohn's disease and it's only in the last eight years that I finally found ways through food, lifestyle, and mindset that I could quiet my Crohn's symptoms. And so that's the place that I come from and that's the kind of moms that I love to work with and the moms that I love to help. So that's a little bit about me. Please, if you're watching this video, tell me a little bit about you below in the comments so that we can get to know each other better. Now, back to those five tips that I was telling you. Five tips that are, that are going to help you absorb the food you're eating so that you can help heal your gut. Okay, let's get started with tip number one. Tip number one is drink more water. Simple, right? But are we doing it? Are you really drinking enough water? Now think about it. Is it something that you struggle with? Is it something that you think about in the morning and then by the time evening comes, ah, I didn't drink enough water, right? I know so many of us, including me, I'm guilty of this too. I know I should be drinking more water, but I wanna tell you why. I mean, I know that everybody knows it's good for you, but here's why it pertains to absorbing the food. Here's, here's why. When we have enough water in our body, it actually is the lubricant for these vitamins and minerals to get to all the places that they need to go. It's the, um, the pathway. It's the pathway. So without water, without enough water in your system, your vitamins and minerals aren't going to get to where they need to go to give your body the energy that it needs. So that's why, especially when we have gut issues, that's why we really need to be drinking enough water. So that's number one, the number one way that you can help your body absorb more nutrients. Drink more water. Okay, let's talk about tip number two. Tip number two has to do with breaking your food down before it even gets in your body. I'm sure you guys know all about smoothies. I'm sure you know about using a juicer. But when we do these things, it actually helps break our food down so that we can then absorb it easier. So if you think about like a whole fruit or whole vegetable or, and think about how fibrous they can be, especially when they have the skin on them, right? When we eat that, that's a lot of times, remember I was talking about when you're looking down in the toilet and you're seeing that food in there? A lot of times that's what we're gonna see down there. Okay, but when we blend, or when we juice, we can break those things down ahead of time. So guess what? Our bodies don't have to work so hard to then digest. They're pre-digested, and so when they then get into our bloodstream, they are ready to be absorbed. So if you're having trouble digesting foods, when you have gut struggles, try doing lots of blending, doing some juicing so that it's pre-broken down, pre-digested before you even put it in your mouth. Okay, so tip number one was about drinking more water. Tip number two was about breaking those foods down before you put them in your mouth. Here's tip number three. Tip number three is about chewing your food slower. Taking more time when you eat your food. And I know this is another one. We've been told this one before, but really it's about pre-digesting that food again before you swallow it. So I know I've seen research that talks about how you should chew, like every bite of food, you should chew it about 100 times before you swallow. 100 times. I'm sure that that would be awesome. And in a perfect world, I would be chewing my food 100 times before I swallowed. But I can just picture this here. So it's breakfast time. I'm chewing each bite of food 100 times. And then I finish my meal. I look at my watch and oh, it's time for lunch. Let me start lunch, right? Could you see that taking forever? I could see that taking forever. So maybe not a hundred times, but here's what I strive for. I strive for 30 chews before I swallow. And I'm not sitting around counting all of the chews before I swallow, but that's kind of what, like when I thought about this years ago when I started doing it, I kind of was trying for 30. And here's what I would love to see you do. 
go ahead when you're eating a meal, go ahead and just count, just, you know, just for the heck of it, just count how many bites are you taking, how many times are you chewing before you're taking that swallow. And whatever it is, try and increase that by five. Just try and increase it by five and keep increasing it by five until you get to 30. Once you really feel like you slowed down the pace of how you're eating, then you can just stop counting, right? And just know, you know, just that little reminder that sometimes it takes, a little reminder of yourself and then say, am I eating slow? Am I eating consciously? And here's the why behind this. It's that same thing with the breaking the food down. You want to break your food down as much as you can in your mouth. It should almost be digested before it gets down into your small intestine. That way, your body just has to absorb. It doesn't have to waste time and energy digesting the food. You can use it as soon as it gets to your small intestine. Okay, so that was tip number three. Let's move on to tip number four. Tip number four is about when you're eating your meals as well. When you're eating your meals, you want to avoid gulping large amounts of water or whatever liquid it is that you're drinking. Have you guys heard about this syndrome? It's called dumping syndrome. It's really common in people that have had gastric bypass surgery or large portions of their stomach removed. Food will then get to your small intestine much quicker and so it is um, more painful when you're eating. So then you get bloated and gassy and you might feel fuller quicker. Well, something that I've noticed with clients is that when they're gulping their drink, let's say that's water, we're just gonna pretend we're all drinking the uh, drink of the gods, right? We're all gonna be drinking water with our uh, meal. Let's say we're drinking water with our meal and we're gulping it down to get our food down because we think that's helping us or because we're really thirsty maybe. Um, sometimes that can actually make our bellies feel really full, bloated, you can kind of get that gassy feeling. But when instead we take our drinking, drink our water, outside of our meals and we take sips during the meal, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, when we take just sips, we actually will avoid that bloat, that feeling of being full. And then we can actually eat more of that nutritious food that I know we're eating. So that's tip number four. Try and avoid gulping your drink, gulping your water when you're in the middle of a meal and save those that water, save that for in between mealtime. Okay, last tip is tip number five. And tip number five is about how you're preparing your food when you're eating. Tip number five, when you are in the middle of what I like to call a gut crisis, when your disease is active, when it's flared, and you know, you know when you don't feel well, you know when your gut is just not in a good place. When you're feeling that way, I want you to avoid raw food. Instead, choose food that's cooked. Why? Same reason that I've been getting at through these tips. You want to choose food that's cooked because it is already broken down. It's going to be much easier for your body to digest. So that means all your vegetables. That means all your fruits even. Yeah, you can cook fruit, sure. You can choose canned fruit because that's a little bit less fibrous, but you can also cook your fruit. Get it nice and, mush get it nice and mushy. Then it will be a lot easier for you to digest. Okay, so let's go over those tips one more time. Tip number one was drink more water. We're all gonna try to do better, I know, me too. And along with that, I don't think I mentioned this, but along with that, I know that water gets boring sometimes. So I would invest in one of those soda streams. I have one, I absolutely love it. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's just the fizzer. <laughs> it just makes your water fizzy. And then you can add your own flavorings like a lime or a lemon or even some crushed berries to it. And you can make it kind of taste like a soda, right? Um, but it's not a lot of money. Invest yourself in a soda stream. And along with that as well, if you're getting bored with water, I love herbal tea. It just breaks it up for me. Peppermint tea, ginger tea, lemon, whatever it is, any kind of herbal tea, even rooibos tea, you can kind of um, do water tea, water tea, sparkling water, you know, you can kind of mix it up a little bit. So anyway, I just wanted to add that while I was thinking about it, but that was tip number one. We're all gonna try to drink more water because that's gonna give your body the lubrication it needs to use those nutrients. Tip number two was to break your food down first, even it could be a blender, it could be a juicer, break that food down first. 
Tip number three, what was tip number three? Oh, eat your food slow. Slow down your eating. Chew a lot more before you swallow your food. It's just about eating consciously. Tip number four was about dumping syndrome. Try and just take sips of your drink while you're eating. Try not to take really big gulps that can kind of make you feel bloated and full when you're eating your food. And then last but definitely not least, tip number five was to eat cooked foods, especially when you're having active gut symptoms. Cook those vegetables well, cook the fruits well, so that it's easier to digest your food. And that's it for our tips today. I hope that this information was helpful for you. And if you have a mom friend that you know would benefit from this information, please feel free to share this video with her. And if you want some more information about what I do and some of my other videos, they're also on my website. So you can go to KarenHaley.com and my mom had to be just a little bit different. She spells my name with a Y, so it's K-A-R-Y-N-H-A-L-E-Y, KarenHaley.com. You can pop on over there for some more information, gut healing recipes, and videos. Thanks so much for watching this video, and until we meet again, I'm going to wish you much gut love and happiness always. Bye for now.